Hey up welcome back. Today I've got this Ryobi One Plus heat gun to show you. Hey, it's quite a nice tool. Oh. Right, let's uh, get it cracked open. We'll have a close look at it, get a few tests, see what it's like. Uh, see whether it's worth you know adding to your collection obviously you must be thinking about it otherwise you won't be watching this video so yeah let's get up close have a proper look at it all right so basically this is what you get in the box you get two attachments and your heat gun um, this has got a, a lock button so you can't accidentally press the trigger uh, so you have to push the button in before the trigger is able to be pushed now it doesn't matter whether you're left or right handed this trigger does swing both ways so you can easily use it one handed left or right don't really matter um, very simple to use you just simply pop your battery in press your trigger um, now it does can't remember exactly how fast it gets up to temperature but according to the box it uh, gets up to 470 Celsius um, so yeah relatively warm um, the more you're using it obviously if you're doing a little bit then putting it down and then coming back and then doing a little bit more it's going to keep the heat in it for a, a good while you know so it, the second time it doesn't take as long to heat up uh, you have got a little light at the front here not really sure why you'd need that I suppose if you're working in a, like a dark area you know in car or a footwell trying to put some heat shrink on some wiring or something like that it'd probably come in useful for that um <clears throat> so yeah you've just got your main uh face which puts out decent amount of air i can feel it it's really nice and warm now don't take that long to get up to temperature then you've got your other attachment which funnels the air down so you can sort of pinpoint you know if you're wanting to get a direct heat onto something that's a nice little attachment for that and then you've got this one which is designed for doing your heat shrink on wires you just stick your heat shrink in between there the hot air wrap all the way around your cable in making a nice uh, a good solid shrink on your cable um so yeah let's uh get a few bits to give it a test on we'll try a little bit of vinyl vinyl wrap if i can actually find any because i've i've just moved house so if if you've seen my previous video uh, it's not going so well at the minute <laughs> we're finding a lot of issues that need addressing before we can actually start doing the house up uh, but yeah that's that's for another video to come uh, I just fancied doing another tool review just to chill out a little bit um, yeah so let's get some stuff and we'll uh, get some testing right so first I've got a bit of cable and I'm going to do a little plug to one of my other videos here look at this I've got some heat shrink hidden in here you might like the look of this Oh, look at that eh, if you think that looks smart I'll put a link to the video where I did this uh, in the description or a little pop up will come here, uh, you, there is actually a nice discount code if you want any of this foam but we're here for in heat shrink so I've got some uh, hidden away in my little secret pocket wire strippers get them out 
I've also managed to find a bit of vinyl wrap. So we'll just shift this out of the way and uh, let's have a bash, see what it's what it's like. So uh, right, we'll just chop some cable off. Start from a fresh piece. Right. Let's just uh, try Let's let me make sure that you can actually see this. Let's, let's zoom you in a little bit and uh, you can get a better, better look at this. So we've got some uh, heat shrink here. It's quite baggy. On that one, I'll just chop it in half. Right, we've got that bit there, I'll just uh, bring you in a little bit closer so you can actually see this. Right, so I'll just... You can see it starting to uh, shrink on nicely, getting a nice even heat all the way around it. I think that heat shrink was slightly big for that wire but as you can see it's uh, it's on there really nice I'll do the other one now that it's already got some heat in it it shouldn't take as long to get up to temperature so, again. Cracking job that isn't it? Right, so we'll just get rid of that, we'll try this bigger section. Fits in there nicely. It's a nice even heat all the way around it, shrinks it onto your cable really nicely. So now we'll try a bit of vinyl wrap and we'll see if I can find something just to uh, stick it on. Right, can't actually find out worth uh, wrapping so I'm just going to have a go at doing my uh, magnetic tray. You know, just gear an example, see what it comes out like so I don't know if you've ever this is only a really cheap crappy vinyl wrap so it it don't work as good as your high quality stuff but we'll just stick it on there like that right and then we'll warm it up and see see how we can push it in Uh, as you can see it's eating it up nicely straight away I'll just run around with it a few times around the edge of it inside it that didn't go to plan but yeah as you can see it was starting to warm it up we'll just try like one corner to start with
really weird stuff this it's, uh, trying to get it to stick like I say it is very cheap wrap um, I don't know if you can see that but we'll give you a closer demonstration it should just pop out and pretty much go back to normal when I warm it up uh, well you can see that but it all stretchy now I'm just going to sacrifice this piece and just see how long it takes just to put an hole in it basically you have to you have to normally be careful because it does melt an hole straight through it sometimes see it smoking a bit now it's actually holding up better than I thought it would that it doesn't actually look like it gets hot enough to <clears throat> to melt the carbon fiber which with the normal plug-in heat gun uh, I have melted this before so this don't get as hot as your normal plug-in one which is probably better for doing uh, vinyl wrap with because you're less likely to burn through it um, it is mostly for like I said doing heat shrink that's why you've got this attachment and uh, doing this sort of stuff don't know let me uh, try and yeah I can't get it off we'll come back when it's cooled down I'll try it without that nozzle on see what what effect it has to this without the nozzle on right got it without the nozzle on now let's uh, get another test see whether it actually makes a difference You can see it does seem to be getting it hotter quicker. Let's go right in. Oh yeah, that's uh, definitely way hotter. Yeah, you can see it's starting to smoke now. Really is melting it. Yeah. In fact, you know what? My finger was touching back of that metal plate and it was starting to get hot. As you can see, it's, uh, it's melted it and it's sagged right down to the bottom. So it definitely gets hotter air without that nozzle on. That nozzle seems to cool the airflow down for some reason um, but yeah that's that's definitely ruined if you're doing vinyl wrap yeah well, it's it's just killed it um, so yeah I recommend vinyl wrap use this attachment and you'll be less likely to ruin um, yeah to melt it basically right so final thoughts on it all right I, I do like it it's obviously not going to be as powerful as your normal plug-in um heat guns but it's a nice compact size all that testing that i've just done has used one one bar on the battery this is a five amp battery um this is one of the the newer style batteries 
as well um, but I like it it's it's nice to have the cordless uh, addition of this um, perfect for when you're working on the car for instance um, really it's going to be really helpful for doing electrics on you know on your cars or vans or whatever um, yeah other than that it, I'd say for money it's probably worth getting if you even if it's just to warm your hands up on a cold knee you know what I mean it's uh, I, do, I do quite like it now I will say I had this sent to me from Ryobi um, a little while ago they put an advert out wanting ambassadors to do product testing for them so obviously if you've seen a lot of my videos i've got a lot of ryobi tools so i figured why not i do reviews anyway i'll apply <laughs> it's worth having a go and well i were accepted so this was the first tool that they sent out to me uh, they did actually send this battery and a fast charger as well um, as well as some safety glasses which kind of useless for me seeing as any prescription glasses but you know it was nice it's <laughs> they're there <laughs> for for anyone else that might be in the vicinity of me while i'm working i've got some safety glasses to give them <clears throat> um but that means i've had this a while because I have to make a short video to send to Ryobi first and then once I get an email back then I can share my own video on it because um, they only have short videos for them so I wanted to do a bit more of a in-depth my own style video basically um, on it but I do I, I, I can see it being a very useful tool um i have got another one that's been sent out to me but i can't show you that just yet but you know a few weeks i'll probably be able to put a video out, out on that one as well um but yeah if you like the video remember hit that subscribe and like button i've got a lot of well i've said earlier on just moved into a new house there's a hell of a lot of work he's doing to it um this is the pub section that's in the garden. Um, quite quirky little place. It all, well, it's, it's quite nice in here to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, if if you're interested to see me actually putting the all the tools to use, I will be doing a lot of house renovation videos to come. So if that sounds interesting. Remember, smack that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon and you'll not miss any of them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.